Hey everyone, it's Chris with Tabletops and Tentacles. Sorry about the delay in this particular video. Um, it's been a weird month or months or however long it's been, but this is our Kickstarter rundown. So as a reminder, this is projects that are active on Kickstarter that end in the next two weeks. So you're not going to see any of the brand new ones on here like uh, Massive Darkness 2 or anything like that. And I'll be honest, I've kind of been out of the Kickstarter thing for a while now. We've been struggling with some behind the scenes stuff and concentrating on trying to get issue two of Tabletops and Tentacles done. And I've just sort of also been super broke but there's some cool stuff on there right now that I wanted to do a shout out to. And although there's not a lot of active projects that really stoked my fire, there were a couple of things that I wanted to do a little video on. So let's do it. So first off, let's do RPGs and RPG accessories. Uh, first up on that list is Pirates of the Dread Sea. So these are 35 millimeter scale metal miniatures and they are they look super fun. There's uh, the Scryer crew, which are all squid-headed ones. There's goblin pirates. And these are just old-school metal minis, and I love it. Um, I think it's sweet how the, the fairies have a smaller version of them. And look how little they are. They're these little teeny fingertip size. There's a narwhal or two. Um, but this is actually... It also has a supplement to it, so it's got a rule set called Pirates of the Dread Sea as well. And honestly, like, I'm probably going to pledge for the rule set because I love pirates. Um, but I'm not super into collecting more minis right now, even though the squid-headed ones are right up my alley and look amazing. Um, so these guys right now have six days to go. They've made their goal, and I just think it looks amazing. I think the squid-headed minis in particular look super fun. Next up is Zheng Shi, Blood in the Banquet Hall. This is an RPG of Chinese immigrants running a family restaurant and dealing with hauntings uh, during the night, which is really unique it's really cool this is one of those type of like indie rpgs that i adore i love the concept of what it's about but also just the the strangeness of what it is um this has a little more to it it's sort of tabletop game as much as rpg in some ways like it's got some some structure to it but it's still got that that role playing aspect too it's really interesting. Um, yeah, it uh, combines elements of RPGs with traditional board games, and it can be played as a mini-series or a one-shot of it. And I think it's a really clever idea. It's really interesting. It's a little spendy. It's 20 bucks for the print and play, uh, but to get the box set that includes everything to play, it's 65 bucks. But it looks super fun it's got dice and cards and like a dining banquet setup and everything so it is definitely kind of a, a hybrid of rpgs and tabletop games it's also a hybrid of rpgs and apparently a restaurant with ghosts can't go wrong there right looks really fun anyway next up is Mortian Cyber Rats, and these are sweet looking cybernetic rats for tabletop games. I think they look amazing. These guys look like they would be so much fun to paint. They got a lot of variety in them, and there's a lot of different versions. So the standard rat has uh, different poses, um, different weapons. You can option out like different things that they're holding. Uh, there's the heavy weapon ones. These look so super fun. Um, the sketches in them are fantastic. I love all the detail in them. I love the variety of different rats in it. I just think it looks so fun. Um, this guy here is awesome looking. So I believe the pledge on this... Oh yeah, okay. So, so the pledge on this is a little tricky because... Their pledge level is just a buck, or well, it's two bucks for dollars. And then you go into the pricing list on here and pledge beyond that for what you want. So 
it's not super complex, but it is a little tricky, and their image that they have for it's kind of hard to read. You have to like copy and paste it out to be able to see what it is. I wish they'd had it in text on here, or much larger, so that it was a lot clearer as to how much things are. But they look so cool. It's doing really well. It did twelve grand, and it's still got ten days left on it. Honestly, these just look like they would be really fun to paint and mod and tweak. Next up is They Came From Beyond the Grave, which is a 1970s horror role-playing game. Uh, it's got a very uh, hammer feel to it. It's schlocky, it's over the top, it's got a little sexy, it's got a little horror. It looks awesome. Um, it's got that like vintage retro look to it by Brian LeBlanc. I, I pledge this. I think it looks awesome. Um, so these guys have done another game that I have the PDF of that's um, people fighting aliens from the ocean kind of thing, which is also very retro fun. They really understand the genre that they're, um, that they're creating in. And I just, I think I really like their stuff. They do great stuff. I mean, he does a ton of things. He, the guy that did this used to be art director for White Wolf. and So as far as they came from Beyond the Grave goes, they have a couple of pledge levels. And one of their pledge levels is just the PDF. It's going to be like a 200-plus page book that they are running this Kickstarter to do a full actual manufactured print run so they can get them into game stores and that kind of thing but you can get just the pdf of gremlin and that's their gremlin in the walls category and it's 25 bucks which is pretty reasonable you can go 30 and do a pod option on there too if you you know want to get the pdf and see if it's something you want a physical print of through uh, drive through rpg I have really dove into this project, and I couldn't find anywhere where their estimated print cost is for the book, which I think is kind of weird. So it's kind of a gamble there, but if you look at it, it's 30 bucks for that, or you can pledge 55 for the full hardcover shipped book, and it that includes shipping in there. So to me, like an extra 25 bucks for the physical hardcover book shipped to you, it's kind of a no-brainer. Like, there's no reason not to upgrade to a full-printed book. It looks amazing. The artwork's fantastic in it. And there aren't a lot of this type of horror RPG. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, let's move on to board games now. Uh, first up on there is Shivers by Andy Logan. Uh, this is his first game on here, but I believe he's done a lot of other design stuff. This is a really unique game, which is shown in its $464,000 pledge number. Uh, this ends in less than a day by the time this comes up on here, so if this looks interesting to you, jump on it. Uh, this is a pop-up board game. It looks really interesting. The game actually uh, forms little rooms that you open up and you move around in it. Um, you are playing people looking for clues, solving puzzles, and exploring the haunted house. And then each episode is about an hour. Everything moves around. It uses magnets to connect tiles. It looks so fun, so cool. Uh, it's 65 bucks, which is a little spendy, but when you look at those room tiles, like look at how awesome those are. I, I can't not be in love with the design on this game. The art's gorgeous. It's got this great atmosphere to it. It's got all sorts of little creatures and ghosties and things. It looks really fun. It's got a magnifying glass. Come on. Uh, the Deluxe Edition is basically everything it has before, but it also includes an expansion, some additional story cards, and new creatures and stuff. I'm a little bummed that it's that much more. It's another like $40 to get that, but... It looks really awesome. It includes pets. Um, yeah, it looks like a fun game. Shivers is on the Kickstarter for another 43 hours as of this recording on the 5th at 10 p.m. So it's ending soon. If you're interested in it, hop on it because it looks really fun. Next up is Over Siege by Coors. Uh, so this is a really unique looking card game. It's really simplistic in its design, but you are playing uh, 
warring castles and you use like trebuchets and catapults and uh, different types of weaponry and, and attack systems and like breaking down gates and walls and it looks really unique. I love the like the graphic aspect of this. Whoever designed this, I'm not sure who it was, spent a lot of time in having things be clear, really striking, and it just looks really cool. Um, they have it designed so that you can also play it if you each have your standardized deck, um, so you can play via remote play. So it's it's got a very chess feel to it in multiple different ways, but it is just a cool looking game. It's pretty reasonable. It's 15 bucks for the game itself, or you can get two copies for 28 kind of a no-brainer it just looks really fun to me uh, they've pledged out at 32,000 and again they've got about 45 hours to go next up is clash of the cryptids which they're doing pretty well 13,000 uh, this is Joseph Oliveira um, who is an artist and author I think he's an artist maybe he's just an author but he's written some comic books um, this is a game that I'm really, really considering backing, but not because of the game, but because of the gorgeous design and aesthetic of it. Um, it's I kind of wish they'd just done it as a deck of cards, because if they'd used this art and this graphic design and aesthetic for a deck of cards, I would have backed it on day one. Uh, this is an enamel pin it comes with, and look at how gorgeous that is. Um... The game itself is basically, um, oh man, I don't remember what they were called, but back in the day there was a set, I think they were just called battle cards or something like that, and they were a deck of cards, they were collectible, where you'd buy a pack and you'd get different things, and they had photos of painted miniatures and different stats for them on there, and this looks really similar to that, it's fairly simple. But the cards themselves are on cardstock. They've got metallic ink. The art in them is phenomenal. It's just, it's super gorgeous. It's got all sorts of fun cryptids in it. And I'm a sucker for that anyway. So I'm exceedingly tempted to pick it up, even though it's literally just 32 cards for 32 bucks. But it's amazing looking. So it's. I couldn't not shout out a cryptid game in here, especially one that looks this good. Finally, uh, my a game that I'm very excited about. Uh, my buddy John created this game called Token Terrors, and it is a 1v1 little kind of skirmish game where you're playing different tokens on a board. They've got different powers. They've got different uh, like things that they do, and they are all like dice size little tokens of different dudes and this is he makes no like qualms about the fact that he also designed this to be functional as tokens for magic the gathering which they're perfect for that i love that he took the miniature aesthetic that's in everything every game's got to have miniatures and he was like what if we make them little stylized and super durable so that you can just take them anywhere, you can throw them in a bag, you can bring them with you, they're just, they're basically dice in a dice sack, only they're little trolls and goblins and friggin' uh, tar zombies, and it looks super fun, uh, he's incredibly passionate about it, the design on it, he's been going through some really cool different tweaks to it, but the, the, the aesthetic of it is so striking and cool and just spot on for me i i love this thing uh there's a deluxe version that's 90 bucks it comes with some extra stuff it comes with a ton of minis uh, it's got 70 of them in the deluxe version the standard version uh is 45 bucks and that comes with six of each faction so there's like 36 of them in there or you can actually buy a battle block which i think is really cool that comes with six of a single faction which it comes in this like cool retro package that totally reminds me of like pocket monsters type thing it's really cool looking um i love token terrors i've got to support it i got to support my brother who designed it and honestly it's doing great i love 
that people are really responding to this. Uh, especially if you're a Magic the Gathering player, these are definitely worth checking out because they are 100% designed with that dual purpose where you can use them for tokens in other games. Uh, my brother and I actually talked about how these would be really fun uh, for damage tokens, actually, or for condition tokens while we're playing RPGs. They'd be so much more fun than a token, and you could just take these and assign different like conditions to them. Uh, so it's uh, it's doing well. It's at twenty two thousand right now. It's still got fourteen days, so you got two weeks to get in on this. But it looks like a blast. And that is it for this week's rundown of RPGs and board games on Kickstarter for the next two weeks. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been Tabletops and Tentacles Kickstarter rundown for the week or for the two weeks, I guess, technically. Thank you for subscribing if you've subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, if you'd like to support us and the channel, you can go to tabletopsandtentacles.com or patreon.com slash deeplydapper and subscribe to our magazine, Tabletops and Tentacles. It's a total geek fest. It's interviews, it's reviews, it's board games, tabletop games, uh, video games, RPGs, books, film, a little bit of everything in there. Um, our first issue, we just got the printed proof copies. They look gorgeous. Uh, we are hard at work on issue two right now. If you subscribe to the Patreon as a subscriber level, which is five bucks and up on there, you'll get a copy of the magazine as soon as it's ready to go. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. May you live in interesting times. I hope you're staying healthy.